Yay, and this is the Everyday City Carry, and today's live episode 31. What do we do on this show? Check things out that our friends are good friends at Earth. And this week is no different, dude, because we have got some goods, bro. We're going to check them out today. But with you to our sponsors, NAFS, right? This is the best way to buy and sell your sale. For life lovers everywhere, anyone can buy and sell our tr- designed to be used by knife nuts all over the world. What does that mean? A knife on this website, it asks you what the blade steel is. It asks you employment method is. It asks you what the scale. Uh, the, the it's like they went into our heads and they know exactly what we're. Secure payments and safe shipping. Easy checkout for buyers. Chris tracking updates every step of the way. Up to one buyer and seller protection eBay going to do that? No. eBay also takes 13.5% versus NAFS, okay? With that 7.5, you get that protection. There is a live chat functionality on the side. It says two hours and do get a message, and it is a live person, not a rot. And, um... Uh, they do have a stars. You do get giveaways as well. Okay, for and this is awesome, man. They have a twenty percent off gone right now. So all NAF sale official listing twenty percent off. You can get things like the GMF one for one hundred twenty four. You can get things like the Ace Grand, which is normally one. And the crazy thing is, all of NAF sale official posting, you can get free shipping and a crazy discount on the eighty-five dollars. It's one forty-eight right now. Do not miss this. Definitely take advantage of this because it is crazy. You can get the NAF two twenty-five with free shipping. Absolutely insane. But what I right here. And I go to the buy sex things, which you can do. You can list your knives uh, that you want to see in a fancy camera. I've done everything on my phone. When you hit buy new things that people have listed, you see this, this free USA. There are people that put stuff on here. Excellent, like new in box. Look at this Vero Engineering Axon Black 100 bucks. You got a Hinderer XM24 Bowie and a Spider Coordinator 500 bucks. Just a bunch of that can spark your appetites, dude. I don't even know if that makes sense as a cyst. That's pretty good, 350, because these are these could go anywhere. This one right here, I'm really eyeballing this one, $275. Ooh, that one's really, really nice. And they have knives that you normally MPEDC thick boy first production, 325 pretty cool. For North Arm Skaha 2, you can't get that. You have to be on a waiting list. And they So this is a really, really cool place to find kind of like you wouldn't normally see at this price point condition you know if it's a user it'll mention it like it'll say description oh this is a user i've used it a bunch look at the spiderco arc 40 carried a few times unused for cutting but there are some scrap i don't believe that <laughs> from the what a maroon. Is that really from the sheath, bro? The sheath. <laughs> but definitely head over to NAF sale down there. I've sold a bunch of knives on here already. The next spot.
sponsor of the show. Shout out to them. Amazing Outdoors. All right. The Amazing Outdoors, all races from A to Z in Lower Catskills, Woodridge, New York. If you want to go, maybe you want to enjoy the outdoors. It is fucking cold as shit. They have RVs now for rent, baby, as well as convenience. Ten minutes away is Resorts World Casino. So if you want to get when it's snowing and then head over to the casino at night and stay in the way, dude, you know, and then, you know, the next day, go back into nature. You lost your entire life savings. But you'll be in nature, so it'll be a lot. This is, uh, these RVs look really nice, actually. I'm not gonna lie, dude. And, uh, they do events. Um, you can do events there. They do event planning, the hub at, and they do parties, things like that. They have done this. Kid, you graduated. Kid's gonna be a doctor, probably everything dude you know it's winter right now so i think i don't know what kind of because they do have uh you know tennis court basketball court someone asked about a range i know they were doing archery at one point um, they have they had a swimming pool they have a a, they had a river and I, I guess a lake as well because they're just like i've been there so it, it does freeze over, and they are riding the people. Uh, I believe that's my brother. Activities <laughs> as well. Let's check some out right now. You can't winter as well. This looks like so much fun, dude. It was mad fun. See that? Look at that. Kids can go tubing. It's an amazing place with a lot of different things to do. It's nearby as well. But this place is really great with a whole fleet of them, dude. They have a whole fleet of them. They have great to take up there. You can. Uh, people have gone dirt biking up in trucks. And stuff like that. So it's absolutely awesome. And if it was by yourself, you can just ride the general with just uh, one of these um, drives for you. And you go down the trails. That's pretty cool to have done both. So, and uh, they have food there as well. Let's say you didn't have time. To on site, see Signal Bayan, a lot of fun wings, Sinigang nachos. Look at that. They have light fries, bro. My favorite. So awesome, bro. So good camping. You know, maybe you do want to go camping in the snow, bro. I don't know. Do that as well. Asia, New York. You have to follow. shoot them a DM for inquiry. All right? You have to shoot them a DM for inquiry. And up, guys. Let's get them to like 2200, right? Uh, easy on the good old Instagram. Let's see who's in. Ooh, we have. Oh, I'm a robot. Audio is whack. Ah. How's that? How's this now? Huh? Wow. I did his ad reads again. <laughs> oh my god. I really gotta it's still I'm going to close this. Okay, I know what to do. I know what to do. I know
you guys let me know if the audio is fine now. We're going to see if it's fine now. Should be good, though, now. It should be better now, mate. You know, I just got back in. If this doesn't work, what we will do is we will restart the, the, the fucking thing. Yeah, I mean, look at this. He says, there we go. You guys know. Your, your, your boy is a pro, man. You know what I'm saying? We've done this. So sorry about this, guys, but I will have to do these ad reads again. Um, my bad on that because I did not know. I was trying to get the ad reads done immediately. Right? <laughs> but I guess, you know, the fucking day just did decided like, hey, you're not going to get that today. Let me say what's up to everyone first, though, okay? We got a uh, 199 from Ohio Knife Lover. Thank you. Good morning to everybody. Everybody is like, man, this is rough. How bad is it? I'm going to check it out later and see what it sounds like. Um, but yeah, good hello to my homies, Matt Hoff. Nuts for knives. We've got Layla in the house. Thank you for coming through today. We've got duties. <laughs> OHKL in the house. Absolutely love having you here, buddy. Thank you so much on that. And uh, we got Nick Groffs as well. We got Hey Man in here. You missed the audio debacle we just had right now. And uh, let's see who else. We got me with Knives Mark, my good homie, who always comments on the Patreon episodes. And I absolutely love that. And I read them when Kelly and I are on dates. <laughs> Ray, check your IG. I sent you a video of it. Let's find out. Let's see. Let's watch it, huh, guys? <laughs> this is awesome. Let's see. Oh, my God. I really got to. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. That is terrible. That is terrible. Aaron B, who I just find out, found out was mess has been messaging me on Instagram, and I thought it was someone else. I should have known because his name was literally Aaron B, except his full last name was spelled out, and I was confused until two days ago. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, this robot episode was brought to you by NAFSale.com. All right, this is the best place to buy and sell your knives. Why NAF sale? For knife lovers everywhere, anyone can buy and sell. Our truly custom platform is designed to be used by knife nuts all over the place. What does that mean? When you put a knife up there, okay, they ask you what the blade steel is. They ask you what the scale scales are. Deployment method, bro. You know what I'm saying? They ask you what the brand and all the brands that we know and love are listed. What other place does that? I'll get an answer for you. Only this place, bro. So that is why NAFSEL is the best place to sell and buy EDC gear. Secure payments and safe shipping. Easy checkout for buyers. Crystal clear payouts for sellers, dude. And tracking updates every step of the way. Up to 100% buyer and seller protection. I know this firsthand because I've sold uh, almost 10 knives. I think like 8 knives I sold on here. Both domestic as well as international shipments. All the paperwork is taken care of for you. You just have to print that button once something is sold and everything is done. All you got to do is just sign the paperwork. You don't got to fill out no stupid customs forms. You know what I'm saying? Trustworthy community. Our peer-to-peer -peer rating system makes it easy to buy and sell with confidence because user ratings, uh, seller ratings are given. And if you have a five-star rating, you're eligible for giveaways as well. They've given away a TRM shadow before. Real humans, our founding team is standing by for support. You know what that means, bro? There's a live chat functionality here, which we have tested on this very show where we were chatting with NAFSAIL. And it was all good. And they even sent me a meme, dude, of the guy saying peace out and he disappeared. Now, that's human beings, dude. That's human beings. Now, giant mouse knives are 20% off on, on um, NAFSAIL right now. But not only that, dude. Not only that, but anything listed by NAFSAIL is free U.S. shipping. So not only can you get the GMF-1 for $124 instead of $155, you get free U.S. shipping as well. These are brand new in box, guys. That means BNIB is brand new in box. That means, you know, never cut, never used or anything. 
And then you have the giant mouse ace Nimbus for 148 instead of 185. You have the Corda, which was manufactured by Riat, <clears throat> and it is 156 instead of 195. That is a crazy deal. <clears throat> I'm going to say, I'm going to tell you right now. That is a crazy deal. <clears throat> they have the Grand, the Ace Grand for 156 as well. They got the Clyde, the Clyde I'm interested in a little bit. That is 148. Looks interesting. The Jutland, my homie uh, OHKL loves the Jutland. 156, bro. Crazy, right? Really awesome deals on this. You even have the Nazca for 180 instead of 225. But Navsale also has other things lurking within. When you hit the buy section, you go deep, dude. This is where people list stuff, and it's the absolute most fun to look at because you see insane things for insane prices, okay? You got this hinderer here, 600 bucks. Vera Engineering Axon Blackwash Natural Micarta, 300. Free international shipping. That's crazy. You get free international shipping on this one like new in box comes with knife and pouch stickers cloth and candies right you know what i mean pretty awesome look you got a native five here for 100 bucks some interesting ones are these sharp by designs that are on here this one is the mini tempest this is the cf1 uh 350 there is a crazy one though right here a mini tempest for 275 damn I kind of want that. I kind of want that one. So this is where your listings will go. And I will shout out listings. Okay. I will shout out listings. You know, me and Afsay will chat with each other. And he'll be like, dude, this sale is, this, this listing is crazy. Or like, I will look at these listings myself and basically cross-reference with what the retail prices are. And then I'll, you know, shout you out usually. And I think, I want to see if the Arcane sold the Abyss actually. Um, there is an arcane design abyss right now, which is the craziest deal. Okay, this is two hundred sixty dollars. This is a custom one because you can see the pivot and the um, backspacer and the pocket clip have lightning anno on it. I love the look at this color on the fucking scale, dude. The titanium scale, so nice. You have to buy these. These are three seventy five right now. Okay, like they have a plain black titanium on Blade HQ for three seventy five. This is two sixty with free U.S. shipping. Okay, this is insane. This is one of the craziest deals I've seen on here. Definitely head over to NAFSale.com. Some really cool stuff on there, my friends. The other sponsor of this show is Asia the Amazing Outdoors. All right, they've been the longest running sponsor. And uh, they are 90 minutes away from New York City, located in Lower Catsc Catskills, Woodridge, New York. Okay. All right. You want to go dirt bike, dirt bike riding? Asia's Black Trail, Christian Soriano and the MX crew got to conquer it and receive the Black Trail patch. I did not. I did not. <laughs> I did not even know that they give you patches, bro. But this is pretty awesome right here. You can do that. Um, it is winter right now, so I, sh I guess we should look at some of the winter videos here. The Vinta, the Vinta videos, because you can ride the ATVs in Vinta. You see that? That's pretty awesome. That looks really fun, actually. Damn, I got to go back there. We need to schedule an everyday city carry meetup at Asia, bro. And we all just hang out there. We could look at knives together and shit in nature, bro. And eat fucking great food because Asia has amazing food. And here's just a little bit of a showing what they have there. But they have more things in this as well. Look at that. Just awesome, dude. Sisig nachos, bagoong fries, Filipino fusion, dude. Gourmet chef in the back is cooking. Yo, these, these sausages right here? <laughs> Knock your socks off, bro. You know what I'm saying? Friendly staff as well. If your kids want to ride ATVs, they can. They have tubing. They have tubing, they have skiing, they have sledding, they have snowboarding. Uh, really, really awesome place. That kid is going way too fast, but he's very brave. And um, you learn this ATV stuff right away. I don't even drive a real car. I don't even have a license. And like I learned how to fucking ride it. Uh, they do have another vehicle known as the General. And it's this little, uh, little armored vehicle there. And you can just ride that and have someone like drive you 
through the trails if you just want to see the outdoors. If you don't want to stay outside, it's cold, right? Bro, look at these RVs right here, dude, for rent right now. They look pretty nice. Pretty nice, because sometimes you don't want to shit in the woods, dude, you know? Sometimes you just don't want to shit in the woods. They have bathrooms as well, okay? <laughs> for people who do not want to do that, they have bathrooms, there are houses for rent, and Resorts World Casino, Resorts, Resorts World Casino is only less than 10 minutes away. So you can rent hotels, you can get a room, and you can gamble the night away and just enjoy nature the next day, you know, and ponder your life's choices of how you lost your kid's college tuition at the casino. But it's okay, because you'll be in the woods, dude. You know what I'm saying? AZ in New York, 90 minutes away from New York City, located in Lower Catskills, Woodridge, New York. Let's get this follower count up, guys. Let's get it up there. Make your boy look good. Please give him a follow on the Instagram. You cannot just go there. There's no walk-ins. It is by appointment only. Shout out to Asia. All right, let's check out what you guys have been doing. Let you guys... Let's check. Let's you guys. Let's check out what you guys have been doing here. I have been just chatting it up, right? I have just been chatting it up here. So let's see. Duties says I've always been a knife swap Reddit guy, but this seems like a pretty cool dealio. It is really good because you don't have any of that weirdness. Like, am I gonna get ripped off? Kind of feeling, because it is hundred percent buyer and seller uh, protection. So I just don't know. I don't think there is a place that's going to give you that, you know. And the guy, CEO of the joint, is really a knife person, like an EDC dude. You know, I talked to him on this on the podcast and, you know, he's just one of us, bro. So he knows what it's like. I think he got I think what happened with the story was he got ripped off. He bought something for like almost four hundred dollars and he got ripped off. And he's like, man, there's got to be a better way to do this. And he made an AF sale. What's everyone's best Friday Cyber Monday deal? I would have to say, um, well, I have a new monitor. That was 250. I have a new monitor. It's curved. You know, I've never had that before. There was a 55 inch screen here causing me to go blind. And now I have that. I did not pick up any knives, surprisingly. I picked up Things that are going to help productivity because your boy is always working on growing the channel and I want the channel to be at the very best. So bought a tablet, bought a power bank to charge my phone and stuff. And um, that's pretty much. Oh, and fitness things. I bought like protein powder. I bought some weights. <laughs> um, I, I'd, I'd say it was pretty good, though. I'd say it was pretty good. I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving, ate a lot of food. I don't think I bought anything for Black Friday or Cyber Monday. What's wrong with me? He's smarter than us, bro. I didn't have much funds this year, but I did grab a Deca and Magna Cut for $100. That is a really good deal. <laughs> that is, I did see a deal that deal as well. Um, on Friday, like actual Black Friday, we went and combed through knife deals. I think Knives Ship Free had the craziest deals on Spider Coats. Thank you so much for coming through, Matt. Um, let's see. Let me know what you guys are carrying today, by the way. All right. Let me know what you guys are carrying today. I'm still thinking about it. SMKW, I think they still have some. I got a black G10 S35EN Manix for 110. It, was that on Knife Ship Free? Crazy. <clears throat> Yo, what's up, Nathan Nettick, my homie? Thank you for coming through today. Jay Dizzle, Jay Diz, what's up, man? Thank you for coming through. We got Chuck It. Got a Spidey Chef for $188 and an Instapot for $99, about $80 bucks off. That's amazing. <clears throat> that is amazing. I want an Instapot, too. That's like the slow cooker shit, right? <clears throat> Let's go down here. Uh, Thai Penguin Plus in the pocket today. Nice. I, I got to try Thai Penguin. <clears throat> I think I have it right here. <clears throat> Mark H, uh, who loaned me this knife roll months ago. By the way, you guys can get this knife roll for free if you buy any Kaiser with blue denim micarta. Um, <clears throat> you could get that. This is the OG uh, penguin right here. Look at that, dude. I don't know why it's not uh, focusing, though. No idea. But look at that, bro. Bro, look at that. You know what I'm saying? 
This is the drop one. <laughs> Isn't that wild? This is the S35 VN drop one. Isn't it wild? Like, this seems like it was so long ago. I guess it's called Caviezo now. <clears throat> this is a really good one. <clears throat> I got to get this back to Mark H. I feel bad. I've held on to this for so long. I really like this. Let's see what you guys are saying in there. Uh, I tried to get the smock for 145 from SMKW, but they went super fast. Damn. I bought a new Sonicare toothbrush for half off and a CRK Timascus clip from RGT. Nice. Uh, no, Instapot is a pressure cooker, among other things. Chicken breasts in about 15 minutes. Best appliance ever. I got to get that shit because that would be really good for my, um, <clears throat> for my fitness stuff, you know? Uh, all I eat is literally like ground beef, ground turkey, and ground chicken. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And my friends are always like, you are a fucking animal, bro. Like, how can you just eat that? I'm like, I want to fucking, I want to, you know, look pretty good at 42. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, modded mini grip and baby banter in the bag. Nice. That's nice, man. Probably will carry the Nimble W. Can't get anything else in my pocket since I got it. You know what's been crazy? I've I've been carrying, I've just been carrying the Escort a lot, the Kaiser Escort. Which, by the way, I um, you know, a new update on the Kaiser Live Show, uh, giveaway. Um, <clears throat> on this Friday, I'm going to be giving away the Kaiser. Uh, this one right here, the Kaiser October, the titanium one for my 9K giveaway. I'm just going to do it live on the podcast this Friday. So definitely come through to that. That is at 8 a.m. And the Kaiser Mini Roach as well. Only one winner. And you know what? Let's throw in this one as well. I'm going to throw in the Kaiser original too. One winner. That's going to be this Friday. So definitely be here for that because people have been waiting to get these. And Kaiser might do the giveaway with me. I talked to them this morning. They're going to confirm tomorrow. Even if they don't, I'm still going to do it anyway. Because you guys have waited long enough. And by the time, if I wait too long, it's, I'm going to be at 10K already. And I want to make that one uh, a, a pretty big giveaway, right? Steam vegetables in like five minutes. Fuck, I got to get that, dude. That's crazy. How do they do that? <clears throat> what do you guys say we take a look at some new gear though, right? You guys think uh, we should do that? <laughs> uh, two of these items aren't even on the website yet so you know urban edc gives this show the inside scoop we get things that aren't even listed yet that is just 100 percent true so let's check out some stuff here uh we have a hank for the first item right you see the fucking sagai ha pattern this is the apparel everyday hanks plain jane wave all right Let's take a look at it right now. There are links to two items that are going to be on the show in the description right now. This is not listed yet, so I don't have links for it, but this will be available on Wednesday. Like that's your packaging right there. Nice and simple. Bam. Look at that, dude. Sagai Ha Hank, bro. That's pretty lit. I love it. I love that it looks like scales. I know a lot of people are like this Wi Fi signals, bro. Your mother's a Wi Fi signal, you know, is what I say to that. <laughs> I like that nice little uh, uh, little tag there. Everyday Hank EDC, and the stitching is really nice too. You know, it's not like the same kind of stitching you see everywhere. Damn, there's cat hair on it already. I literally just took it out. Jeez, that is your stitching right there, and that is the back. Look at that. I like it, man. I like it. You guys know I love the Sagai Ha pattern. I think this is pretty cool. How much do you think uh, this, this is, guys? I wonder. I wonder how much is this? What do you think? I'm going to say 30 bucks. All right, let's play the game here. 30 bucks. Duty, I got a Magna Cut Deca because of you. It's great. It's great. And OHKL doesn't like the thumb studs and the crossbar lock. A uh, little stud thing because he says it sounds cheap. I know because we talk on the Instagram. Um, <laughs> 2763 says Nathan. I'm going 30 bones on that. Um, 
I don't even have it. But we're going to have to look at past listings. All right. For this. This is everyday Hank. Let's take a look. Let's take a look, my friends. Okay. <clears throat> well, I just bought it. <laughs> it's nice, dude. You know, I do agree with you that the thumb studs and the crossbar lock like feel a little like it feels like Legos, bro. You know what I'm saying? It just feels like Legos. But even at regular price, 127 bucks, you know, some places 125 to get Magna Cut, you know, it's pretty fucking good. USA made as well. That's the crazy thing. Um, you know, so I'll sand it down on the stu studs and make it great. I wonder if they'll have like replacement studs, like custom aftermarket ones. OG goat aluminum scales will really make the knife I want it to be. Oh my god, that's why I gotta get one, y'all. Cause OG hit me up and was like trying to send me some shit, dude. <laughs> but I don't have any I don't have any of the things that they have. This is why I think every content creator you know, that wants to work with uh, scale companies need to have a, para, a, a PM2, a Para 3, a Paramilitary 1. You need to have, um, you know, the DECA, all that shit. So, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let us look at how much these Hanks are, though. Okay. I don't know how much they are. Let's go bam, bam, and bam. Uh, so we don't have this particular pattern. It says Plain Jane, right? It says Jane Wave. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but they have other ones here. I'm going to look for the, the closest, most similar one. I guess it would be this one. And that is, let's see, 25 bucks. So actually, um, Nathan Nettick was the closest for that. All right. And uh, I don't have, this is the problem with getting things in advance. It's like I don't have the, uh, <laughs> I don't have anything to read for you guys, you know? See, so look at this. It says the old timers got it right. Back in the day, it was almost a given that every man would have a pocket knife and a sturdy cotton handkerchief in their pockets. And it's time to bring back that old age tradition, age old tradition. I don't know why I read it the other way. In style with the exclusive everyday Hanks. Uh, this is the plain Jane. What is this called? Everyday Hanks plain Jane wave. From mopping your brow to cleaning your glasses and camera lenses. The uses of a robust and high quality Hank are practically endless. Designed for versatility and built to last a lifetime. One or three or, or, or these Hanks of these Hanks will see you through all of life's adventures. Individually handmade from 100% cotton, the Hank is luxuriously durable and gets better and softer with time and wash. What's more, it features broodingly rugged traditional Japanese sagaiha print symbolizing unending waves of good fortune and fortitude so get yourself one or a handful what do you guys think of edc hanks let me know in the chat right now let's do some hank talk a little bit because i personally bought i have a lot of hanks in my drawer right now i don't use them a lot anymore because i don't leave this i don't leave this cave <laughs> i don't leave this cave really i just make videos in here all day and do three live shows a week <laughs> and then kelly forces me to go out so I don't, um, I, but I used to carry a Hank in my back pocket. Now, are Hanks really that useful or do we just take pictures of them on Instagram? It's something I asked on my old show, EDC Fits. You know what I'm saying? Um, I always thought that it's good to carry a Hank, you know? Yo, bro, it's, it, first of all, good to carry a Hank, right? Let's say a pretty lady be crying, bro. Ladies be crying. You give them a Hank, dude. That is your in right there. I always thought that was a neat thing. You like oh, here. You know what I'm saying? What if your boy is crying? Give him a Hank. You know what I mean? I think they're good. I just have too much shit in my pockets. I have so much stuff, dude. And I wear skinny jeans, bro. I should do a video of how I fit all this gear in one side of the um one side of my skinny jeans. Probably do that today um let's see let's keep going down here i don't have a use for hanks plus i get really dirty at work so they'd get ruined i just use shop rags facts bro 
You look great on the ground. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm saying too, yo. We just use them for fucking Instagram. Yeah, flatly fodder. There you go. <laughs> I bought the 80 20.5 aluminum scales before the tie came out. Then I got the tie. Fortunately, I sold the aluminum and got a little money back. I um I'm you know what? You know what? This is a hot take right here. I'm fine with the good old plain fucking OS 10 like grivery ones like i'm fine with it uh skinny jeans why oh god why um well first of all your boy's legs thick as shit uh i don't do squats for no reason so you know your boy's got an ass on him that's all i'm gonna say right now and uh they're in fashion they're in fashion right now so i'm wearing them that's why uh right i wear i wear skinnies and i have you know, a shirt like this, and I just walk around looking fucking, you know, <laughs> that's how, that's how your boy rocks it. You know what I'm saying? Um, Ray is, is, is a skinny man, but swole up top. Yeah. No, I have pretty good legs. I do work out legs a lot too. I do it two times a week. What's up? Zero bites. How's it going, bro? <laughs> how is it going? I used to wear wide legs, bro. I used to wear baggy, top heavy. <laughs> I, I am I top heavy? I don't think so. I do have tits, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you guys are hilarious. So you guys are feeding my uh fitness ego right now. Um, but yeah, I, I wear skinnies, man. I do. I, I fought it for a long time and then I was just like, fuck, it's fashionable. I gotta do it right now. I mean them titties, bro. Got the fuck. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's go to the next item, though. Let me fucking do this. I do. I don't know. Still don't know how I feel about Hanks. I have a bunch of them. Whenever I see like a nice Marvel or anime one, I usually pick it up. Um, but yeah, I, I don't have a lot of use for them because I'm not working in a shop or anything. Uh, but I do think they are useful for creativity <laughs> as well as yo if you see a pretty lady crying oh i know chuck it come on man i i of course i know that bro i don't get the skinny jeans thing but i'm just busting your balls kelly just always be grabbing my ass dude in the skinny jeans in public bro she'll just be like like chill asians don't do pda you know Cargo car hearts are where it's at. Uh, more pockets for shit I don't need. Oh, guys, um, on the, you know, the, the Black Friday live show, I did buy something that we looked at there. <laughs> uh, for you guys that were on that show, um, this is what I bought. I bought the alpaca gear. I bought this one right here. So this Bravo sling uh, gray, which looks so sick, dude, because this is what how your boy dresses when he goes outside. I pretty much wear all black. And uh, I always, I usually carry a sling with me. And um, this would, is going to look so sick with what I wear. Uh, I love slings. And this one is made out of really sick material. And this is where all my gear is going to go. Look at that. Oh, this is so sick. I can't wait to get this. This is what this is what I bought out of all the things we looked at. So actually, this is one nineteen right here. Um, the the deal was you get twenty five percent off. I think I got it for eighty nine, bro, which is a great deal for a magnetic closure. Um, for a magnetic closure with this material, this shit is gonna last my whole life, dude. So what's dope about it is if you look at this right here, this is a charging port, right? So I'll plug my battery pack into that port, and then I just plug my phone into there. It's pretty awesome. I'm like really excited to have this. I have a Chrome Industries one right now. This is waterproof, like, bro, your boy gonna look sick. That's what I bought. <laughs> That's what I bought for Black Friday. <clears throat> you got me looking at the Art Company Sidewinder. That is a really, really good one. I'm going to show that uh, in the video when I do this. How do I fit things in my skinny jeans video? The Arc Company Sidewinder is cool. I have the range. Hello, everyone. Sorry, I'm late. Didn't get the notification. Echo D. It's all good, bro. You're here. We're going to be chilling. We're going to be chilling. I only did one item so far. 
and it is this one. So you didn't miss that much. It was a Hank. It was a Sagai Ha pattern. This is the Everyday Hanks Plain Jane Wave. Okay. That's what I unboxed. But we're going to look at this now, guys. Knife Lounge. It says by Altonair Silber Workstat. Wow, that was really hard to read right there. Look at that. <laughs> I Altonair Silber Workstat. Knife Lounge. I like this. I like this packaging. I like the green. Nice pop of green. Looks really cool. <clears throat> this is the uh, Crow Gear Don't Worry Stone. Uh, this is an Ultim. Let me know, by the way, what you guys think of Ultim. Ultim is this new hot material in EDC right now. I think it looks like the PP Stone. But I have seen some Ultim stuff that look cool. Let me know what you guys think of Ultim right now. You're in NYC, right? Do you own a car or just hoof it? So we do not own a car since I am literally in the city. I live in the Bronx, but I am three train stops away from Manhattan. And you just walk everywhere when you're here. You know, you get some steps in, keep your body tight. And uh, <clears throat> that's how uh, Kelly and I do it. So we'll go out on a date. We'll eat something really heavy. And then we'll just walk like fucking six miles. Like, you know, and just go see, you know, looking at stuff, which is pretty much what we do. Um, that sling definitely stands out and should be a must have for anyone in the city going for a convention. Facts, bro. I always wear a sling when I go to conventions. Check out Ozuza Canvas V2 backpack. Pricey, but awesome. Ooh, you guys know the weight of my heart is bags, right? I love backpacks and I love slings, dude. That is not even... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Here it is right here. Jesus Christ. I'm looking at it right now. <clears throat> oh, I saw this. Chuck it. I saw this, bro. I saw this on I saw an ad for this on Facebook. This looks so sick, dude. This looks so sick. I saw this on Facebook. This looks sick, bro. <clears throat> I love this. I w look this guy's a box in it. <laughs> dude. Oh, imagine an EDC person's way of carrying this backpack. <clears throat> yeah. I like the way this backpack looks, actually. I was surprised how compact it gets. <clears throat> I like it. I like it. I, I, I don't know if I have a use for it because I usually don't do slings because of my left shoulder injury. But I love, I mean, sorry, backpacks, I mean. But I was looking at this one. Sometimes I just, you know, wear it if I'm going to travel and oh look at this white one, bro. Wow, that looks sick right there, white and black. All right, we gotta stop. We gotta look at <laughs> urban EDC stuff. <clears throat> All business. This is the knife lounge. Um, it says Crow Gear, don't worry, stone in Ultim. All right. Let me know how you feel about Ultim, by the way. That's what I just asked earlier. Boom, ba -ba boom, ba boom. There you go. Oh, this looks pretty good, dude. This looks. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. Um, nothing happened. Nothing to see here. So, this is a worry stone, right? Which I've been seeing a lot in the pocket art community, which is part of the EDC community, right? I don't know why it's not focusing now. And this is an Ultim right here. You could see that peepee -pee shade there. And it is a bottle opener, of course, because what piece of EDC gear that is pocket art it has to have a bottle opener, right? So this is uh, what you would say. Part of it is also for creative uses. You'd be taking pictures of it for your Instagram, but also if you worry. And this is something I didn't believe in before, right? Because I wasn't at a desk. You know, now I'm at a desk all the time. So I have things like fidget items that if I'm like not stressed, but I'm in a block creatively, like I will do this or like if I have like a fidget thing, I will use it, you know, while I'm sitting here. So feels pretty good. You know what I'm saying? It feels pretty good. Let me know what you guys think of Ultim and also how much you think this item is. Okay. How much is this? titanium bottle opener with Ultim inlay. 
I have to say the titanium with the ultim looks really good here. Look at that. I do like that. I don't like ultim particularly, but in this configuration, pretty sick. Let me know how much you guys think it is. Ooh, and there's a lanyard hole too, right there. There is a lanyard right there, dude. Let me know how much you guys think this is. I'm going to say 70 bucks, right? I'm going to say 70. Looks it looks it looks cool, man, I think, right? Um let me check let me check out some of what you guys are saying here. <clears throat> check out the Griffey from D Rocket badass little magnetic knife. You got the Kodo Paxi uh, uh, Alpa X is my my pack. Nice one. I personally just like the Ultim, but I'm just not a fan of the color. It needs a drink of water. <laughs> Yo, my homie Fox is in town. How's it going, man? Uh, Fox visits me sometimes in Queens Village. We hang out. He brings his dog, Luna, and we chill. Um, morning all. Love Arc uh, Co. Boulder is the go-to wallet. That is NavSale. How human can... Chop has the black on black Magna Cut Deca Clip Point for $95? Ooh, that is a good deal. Thank you for shouting that out, Chuck. I mean, Aaron B. It's like three fifty to five hundred fifty dollars for this. <laughs> oh shit! Um, good lord, that's so much. But if I went hiking all the time, it'd be worth it. Oh, you mean for the bag? Damn, that's crazy. That's too much. I'm pissed. I missed this. I missed the open sea leather wallet in kangaroo leather yesterday. Well, Ultim, I love as a bead, but I prefer Ty and Micarta on my EDC. Great material, but not for me. Good points. 123.52, says Nathan Nedek, on this Ultim piece here. It's dope. Too much. <laughs> 149. We have, oh, uh, a Twitch person, $50. Good guess. I want 70 on this. They should put, they should have put a pencil sharpener on it. <laughs> It does kind of look like that, right? It does kind of look pencil sharpening. <laughs> 9599 says OHKL. You got 45 from zero bytes. That's totally a pencil sharpener, dude. <laughs> my pencil sharpener is the knife in my pocket. Look at this. This is fucking, yeah. Hey, you know what, though? It looks cool, though, right? Am I crazy? I think it looks pretty cool. You got the ultimate on one side. Like, if this was on the Instagram, we'd be like, oh, shit. Now, the problem is, I don't even think I can find out how much this is. It's not even on the uh, website right now. We're going to have to look at a different thing. What is this called again? This is the Crow Gear, right? I'm just going to check for Crow Gear first. Right, let's do Crow Gear. I don't see anything. Now, Knife Lounge. Knife lunge either. What the fuck? All right, hold on a second. Let's do this. Hold on a second. Uh, crow gear. Let's do crow gear. What I found. Oh, so this is their crow gear and 189. So this is different though. This is, um, this was their green micarta version. So is Ultim more expensive? What do you guys think? I mean, look, if you see this on the Instagram, though, you double tapping it. OK, we talk about the double tap theory. You're double tapping the shit out of this. If you see it, even if you see this one, you're doing straight double tappy. OK. You know what I'm saying? You're doing the double tappy, bro. OK, don't even lie. You're doing double tap if you see something like this on the Instagram. Um, we don't have the link for the particular one that we have right now because this is like an inside scoop, guys. This is not released yet, this Ultim one. So we're going to check it out for the first time right now, which is awesome. Shout out to Urban EDC. Worrying is like a rocking chair. It gives you something to do but never gets you anywhere. That rhymes. Are you Dr. Seuss? Here to banish all your worries and apprehensions is the exclusive uh, Crow Gear Don't Worry Stone that you can carry anywhere and everywhere. Compromising of three parts, the body of the Crow Gear. Don't worry, Stone is machined from solid titanium and features an integrated bottle opener and we wish pencil sharpener. The frame is made from lightweight micarta for enhanced grip and lightweight performance, while the matching uh, titanium 
inlay features a Japanese Sagai Han motif. Now, this doesn't have that. This is just Ultim and Titanium. So I, like I said, I don't know how much it is. Designed for everyday carry, the Crow Gear Don't Worry Stone is light enough to never weigh you down while being tough enough for the rigors of daily carry. If you're looking for the most stylish pocket tool, that's also a discreet way for you to fidget and in many cases, help in concentration and anxiety relief. This is it. All right. This is made in Germany. And um, the, the one that we have is in Ultim and Titanium. I still think it's pretty cool. Now, is it $180, Kildo? You know what I mean? That is what I would like to know from you, my friends. Um, judging just from the feel of it right now, I mean, pocket art is expensive, guys. You know what I'm saying? You know, like these JW gear uh, stuff, they're expensive, man. So, you know, it's not my world, but what I can tell you is the fit and finish is really nice. Nice contouring on everything. No sharp corners, nothing like that. It does feel like a very well-finished piece of kit. I don't know how much Ultim is. And um, you guys let me know, right? We're going to talk about it here. The email says 229. What email? I didn't get an email for this. Let's see. Oh, oh, wait. I didn't I didn't get the email for this one. Oh, I did. I did. It came out yesterday. <gasps> 229. Oh my god. $229. That is much how much you're going to pay for this, my friends. Wow. Wow. Oof. I did not get the the slip, guys. Did you get the dope little leather slip that goes with it? I saw it on his IG. I did not get the slip. Maybe it's because this is a review model. This is all I got. I just got the box. And that's it. Damn, 229 kind of steep though, huh? Right? But like I said before though, pocket art is very expensive. So... You know, and the you know people that are into the pocket art stuff, they go crazy, bro. Like, they have the pictures that you double tap on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? That's what happens. So, pretty cool piece of gear, though. Pretty cool piece of gear. All right, let's see. We have to go to the next one now. All right, we have to go to the next one because your boy has an appointment to get his hair cut at fucking uh <clears throat> at like eleven, and it's eight fifty three right now. Let's put this down right here. <clears throat> It's definitely awesome, but too rich for my blood. I feel the same way. I do think it's a cool piece of gear. Like, if my boy had it, I would be like, oh, shit, let me check that out, you know? Uh, good Statham, right? Good fucking Statham, in it. Uh, <clears throat> I looked it up, and it said 150 for it. Damn. Uh, let's see. Only pocket trash I have is a couple of zero fucks coins, uh, given coins. Don't even carry them, so I can't relate. Uh, came yesterday, the email. Yeah, we talked about that already. Now, are you guys ready to look at some knives, though, right? Are you guys ready to look at some knives? And these two knives do have links in the description. Look at this. We have a white box here with that, okay? Now, this is a Victorinox picnicker, all right? Let's open this up. <clears throat> hey, how's it going, man? How's it going, Eugene Krabs? Thank you for coming through while you're taking a shit. <laughs> Look at how a fish this looks, dude. A fish. Ooh. Limited edition Victorinox Picnicker from Good Morning EDC. We are practically showing these for the first time on this show. Check it out, my friends. What do we have in here? <gasps> There's already cat hair inside. Okay. What makes this one special, though? I've never had a picnicker before. Okay. <clears throat> Let me get some water on this. <clears throat> Look at this. This is the picnicker. Let's open it. What makes this one special, huh? What do you guys think? What do you guys think that makes this one special? <clears throat> the 
Bam. Okay. Damasteel. Damasteel blade. Damasteel, bro. Yep. Damasteel blade on this one. Wow. Look at that. Look at that, dude. Okay. <clears throat> and this does have a locking blade here. You can see it. God, this is so hard to do. There is a lock right there. So you do have to press on that to unlock it, which I can't do for some reason right now. Nice snap on that. Okay. <clears throat> you have uh, this in the back here, and it's numbered on the back right there. Pretty dope. Scales look fresh as fuck. Okay. Looks fresh. Have a good day, duties. All right. Um, let's check out some of the other things there. Uh, if you guys know what the hell this is, <laughs> please let me know in the chat right now. Because I looked at this the other day and I was like, what is this? But it is part of this. Okay. There's that. And there you go. There's your uh, flat driver bottle opener. Thing right there okay nice snap on oh this one has no yeah this one has a lock on it as well <laughs> all right that one has a lock on it and then you have there you go okay the can opener with your smaller driver right there Oh, it is a cheese slicer. Thank you so much, guys. Fork. <laughs> cheese slicer. <laughs> yeah, it's a cheese slicer. Interesting. Oh, yeah, it is edged. <laughs> I didn't even see that. Nice. And um, is there any, anything else on this? Oh, there you go. Got that out. Is this an awl or something? Is that what this is called? I think it is, right? Or a reamer or something. I remember JT's Knife Life would talk about it. And I was like, oh, what the fuck is that? And I had to Google it. Pretty cool, though, for you guys that are very into Victorinox um, Swiss Army Knives or Sax, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is a cool collector's one. Let's take the guesses of how much it is. Um, I'm going 250 all right, it is Damasteel. Remember, it is not Damascus. This is Damasteel. Okay, uh, how much do you guys think this one is? Huh? What do you guys think? What do you guys think on the price of this? Four hundred dollars. <laughs> Damn! It is Damasteel, though, so probably a good guess. Uh, 500 says chuck it Dan. you guys are going high on this one 289 from patches what are the scales made out of we're going to find out we're going to find out um, I don't know it just looks like some kind of really nice wood scale um, it is really nice though but yeah take your guesses now that's probably at least 195 yeah I, I said 200 oh I said 250 so the damage steel is definitely going to bring that up 375 says OHKL um, let's find out, huh? Let's fucking find out, dude. <laughs> Let us find out, dude. Let us find out, dude. Let's see here. I do have... Let's just look at the Picnicker right now. I should just I should just type it in, Picnicker. Remember, this is... Oh, my. 375. Did you click on the thing, OHKL? Did you click on the link in the bottom, bro? Nothing damage steel is cheap. Facts. Because it... It's not Damascus. It's different. So this Victorinox Picnicker in Damasteel, it is a limited, limited edition, $375. This is the tools that you'll be getting, right? As you can see there, I was trying to point this out on the camera, but it was hard. There is uh, liner locks for some of these things. I don't even know if that's what it's called, but there is a lock there. Those are the tools that you're getting. I'll check out the other side and it is you see the number right there so it is a limited edition um wow i mean it is beautiful right 
You know, I got to I got to say that. I mean, dude, that blade looks crazy. Like I am not a big Dam Damasteel Damascus. I'm not crazy about these patterns, you know. Um but to me, I'm just like, okay, it's got to be a fancy knife then if it has it, if it's Damasteel. You know, Damascus I I got the skeptical hippo eyes usually when it says Damascus, but <clears throat> Damn steel, damn accord, like that stuff, you know. Oh, fancy. That's what I think. All right. And there you go. That's the double tappy, right? That's the double tappy. You get the blue and white background. Double tap on the Instagram. Instant. So this is 375 with four interest free payments of 9375 through zip. If you don't want to drop the 375 right away. Damasteel Picnic Blade, the Victorinox Picnicker, is one of the most interesting models in their lineup. Designed for your picnics, hence the name, it features all the things we love about Victorinox with some additional functions along with special upgrades for this limited edition Victorinox Picnicker for 2022. Limited to 6,000 numbered pieces, in, pieces worldwide. Okay, that is not that many. The Victorinox Picnicker is the 13th Damast Limited Edition limited edition for collecting or cutting with exacting precision what sets it apart is the gorgeous stem steel blade with a unique balder pattern on the large blade and the stunning pear pearwood scales that answers the question right there that completely elevates the look and feel breathtakingly beautiful the limited edition victorinox picnicker features 10 different functions including a cheese blade to take your dining and picnics to the next level if you're looking for the perfect do-it-all sack with the added bit of sparkle, this is it. I mean, you know, let's say you take in your lady for a picnic, you pull one of these out, maybe she'll play with your sack. You know what I'm saying? Because she'll be like, wow, that is a cool, cool steel blade with a balder pattern. I like that. Lifetime warranty on this made in Switzerland, 122 grams. So let's take your thoughts on that, my friends, on the Victorinox picnicker in damasteel limited edition uh let's see let's keep going down here i might have peaked <laughs> don't peak bro i'd rather have my huntsman at least you don't feel guilty about losing it i d i don't i've never had a huntsman actually i i'm gonna look that up right now i've never had a huntsman um before i just have classics i have cadets that's pretty much the, the ones that I EDC. Oh, this is good. It has the scissors in it. I like it when it has the scissors. That's a good one. Maybe I should get one of these. Looks cool. Yeah, it's got the scissors. My, my, my most used tool on my Victorinox, like any of them, is the fucking toothpick on a classic. That's what I use the most. <laughs> um let's see actually i'd rather take a 91 mm sack and have it modded uh to fit a spider cone knife yeah oh, I, I love those and titanium scales for less than that i do love those though with the spider cone blades in it i have a few a lock sacks but that's a little fancy to actually use in my opinion i mean some people you know these sack collectors you know maybe there isn't one of them in this chat but these dudes probably jump on this you know what I'm saying? 6,000 limited edition. If you're a, a sack collector, you see those pages on Instagram of dudes that just have like thousands, bro. You know? Might be good for you. If you're watching this show, limited edition, check it out on Urban EDC. Okay? Um, I will look into that Huntsman, though. I like that. It looks cool. Yeah, but definitely, what is uh, your most used tool on a sack? Mine. Mine is literally just the fucking toothpick. <laughs> and there have been a few times where I was like at a shop or something where I was working at the CBD shop and I needed to use like, you know, I couldn't find a screwdriver or anything. And I, I just used my uh, Victorinox. I have an Alox uh, Cadet. I just used that one, uh, and the, the fucking screwdriver. All right. Now, now, my friends, for the final, I was going to say for the final finale, stupid. What is it? 
It's gonna be a new thing. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, I wipe it down every time we use it, and the only person who uses it is Kelly and me. What is it? Dun, dun. It is an urban EDC F5.5 all blacked out. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. Dan 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 <laughs> Who are you passing the Strix on to Ray? I'm going to check with them right now, actually. We'll see. Oh, this is very nice. You know, it's, it's funny. Someone argued with me that this isn't one of the best EDC knives ever made. Now, when I think of an EDC knife, right, I don't go to the tactical side. So, you know, I go to a more utilitarian design, right? I, yo, that 5.5 is a good one for that category. You know what I'm saying? You know, everything, it's, it's just really nice. It's, it's big enough, right? And also, it's not really, it's not scary looking. That's what I think an EDC knife is. You know what I mean? Not that I don't like scary looking knives. I do. I love them. You know what I'm saying? I love crazy looking knives. But when it comes to like EDC, right? Everyday carry, I think this is one. The Malibu is also a great contender. I agree with you on that. Um, This is also a good one. Uh, so I always say when I talk about this knife, it's probably one of the best ones I've ever made, in my opinion, because just really good ergonomics on that. You've got that Vox Naze, you know. You got that Vox Nase blade shape, bro. And if you look at the logo of this channel, there's a CRKT Pilar, <laughs> like on the logo. I love Vox Nase designs. This is just really cool, man. I really like this platform, the F5.5 platform. And a lot of people have always wanted an all black F5.5, and now you have one. Um, some people were complaining about the G10. I like G10. I don't know. When did G10 become bad? Like, I actually really like G10. And um, I think this one looks really, really cool, dude. <clears throat> I believe it's PVD coated hardware as well as the blade. Um, everything is blacked out. Literally, all the hardware, including the pocket clip and the backspacer, is blacked out. It's really cool. And they debuted it on Black Friday, too, which is like such a fucking power move, dude. Really, really cool, man really cool love it love it love bro love <laughs> love it let's check out what you guys are saying in the comment section and also take a guess on how much the knife is we kind of already know how much uh f5.5s are but we're gonna play it anyway okay i'm gonna say 200 even though i know it's more than that i'm just gonna say two let's see <clears throat> that's clean bro <laughs> I love it. Me too. Uh, just too small for my hand. I can understand that. It's definitely going to be a fingerprint magnet, though. Which one? This? This not how? This one? How is it gonna be fingerprint mag? It's all black. <laughs> Spyderco Sage One is literally my favorite kind of knife for any cutting task. That's a good one. That's really thin and slicey, right? I think you loaned loan me that one. Does anyone know how I can get the stupid OK Knife logo off the plate without ruining the finish? It's Stonewash Blade. Damn. I got nothing against G10, but there are way more awesome scale materials out there. 245. You got 295, says Nick Martino. You have Stonewash it. That's literally what I was going to say. I'd recommend you just stripping the finish off Aaron and then refinishing it. That's a good move. I won't guess. I already have one on the way. <laughs> nice one, Patches. Not peaking this time. Shit, probably 250. <clears throat> now, this one is, uh, the link is in the description for this one. I'm going to look right now. F5.5. Oof, 239. 
pretty good value in my opinion all right so this is let's take a look at some of the pictures oh <gasps> oh no Sorry about that, my friends. For some reason, I got logged off. Okay? I got logged off, but guess what? I heard, oh, no, and then gone. <laughs> Holy shit. We have a special guest, my friends. We have a special guest finishing off the morning. My girl wanted to look cute with her new glasses, and that's why she is on the show. I already know her. I already fucking know her. Huh? She just got her new glasses on and she wants to give people jerk off material. Okay. All right. There we go. She said, Hey, turn on my volume. Hey. We're going to close the strong. Close the strong. Close the show strong. Close the strong show. <laughs> We're going to close the strong. I was like, Why should I just sit at the kitchen table? Um, and have coffee? <clears throat> I could have it with everyone. So here. we were talking about the F5.5 here, guys. Everyone thought that, yo, pretty good fucking deal. 239 bucks. Good morning, everyone. And we were going to do the read for it until my computer crashed, which has been weird. And I fault Everyday Minimalist for that because he sold it to me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So the F5.5, if you're ready to take the world by storm, this is the knife for you. We were looking at um, some of the pictures first. And of course, what we do is we like to get in real close and stuff. It's all black. Everyone likes that. Everything, the hardware, everything is all black on this. They did not go cheap on this. And they do have the G10 scales. Just everybody knows this knife. It's awesome. If you've ever held one, you know it's really good. Um, and here are some of the Instagram shots. Double tap. You see it on the Instagram EDC guy. You're going to double tap it. 100%, bro. 100% double tap. I had this coin last week. It's pretty cool. Sold out, I think. I believe it's sold out already. Really nice one. And uh, look at that. You're double tapping, guys. If you see this picture, you're double tapping the shit out of it on Instagram. Do you want to be double tapped? You know what I mean? <clears throat> yes. Uh, the Urban EDC F5.5 is our pride and joy designed alongside our friend and custom knife maker extraordinaire, Jesper Voxnes. Jesper Voxnes. Jens Anso. Everybody loves them too, right? This knife exceeds all our expectations and we know you'd love it too. Inspired by the endless versatility of a sailor's knife. I've read this to you guys so many times, so I'm not going to do it this time. <laughs> I must have read... Look at this. Look how much they write. Do you want to see this? Look, the person who writes copy for Urban EDC, we have all agreed, is like the best fucking copywriter there is. Yeah. Look at this. Designed with exploration in mind, the Urban EDC F5.5 is smaller and more compact than the custom Vox 5 and equipped with a stout 2.7 M390 blade steel. With the iconic Vox modified sheep's foot blade, it also features a blacked out finish for enhanced wear resistance and stealthiness. Nice. Intentionally robust. I, too, am intentionally robust. Yeah, it's four millimeters <laughs> thick, which give, gives its outstanding strength and stability. Just really cool, man. I That's, just yeah, love no, the... Yeah, um, really nice. Yeah, it, compared to like when you go to a flawlessly website. Flawlessly functional. Yeah, flawlessly functional. I, too, am flawlessly Impressively functional. compact. That's you. I, I am all of those. And beautiful to functional. hold and behold. <gasps> That's the wrong one. They describe me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's keep going down here. People, are, good morning. Everyone is saying hello, Kelly. We need the whole morning. family. 
looking good, Kelly. Oh, thanks. This is new glasses. I'm not wearing my new glasses today because they told me to not wear it when I'm working. They told me to wear it when I go outside. Yes. Everyone is very happy to see you. I try to get Kelly on the show. All right, Pick him up. On. We have a come fluffy on. for you guys. He has asked to be picked up. There we go. We have the Robert. Hello, Robs. Say good morning. <laughs> you like it up here, buddy? He says, Mom left me in bed. <laughs> and so He's so happy right now. Sleep on her. He's very oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> yeah, he, he asked to be picked up right now, which is um if you're in this room, Robbie will go on your leg and ask to be picked up. Yep. If you're outside of this room, he probably won't. Yep. Um, that's just what he does. Oh shit! I thought it was coated titanium scales. I they'll they'll probably do something like that. Do you guys want to check out some F five point fives? Maybe we'll do that. Uh, Vox is my favorite designer. Me, I would say one. He's definitely in like my top five, one hundred percent. I mean, the fucking channel logo has a Vox design in it. Robbie is on my leg now. Um, I just found out the kiddo has. Oh no, dude! Oh, I hope no. they feel better soon. I'm sorry to hear that. Rubby. <laughs> Every all the all the OGs say Rubby. Yo, every name in the whole list. <laughs> I was literally, yo, it's so funny. I just talked about him, and I said, and I blame, and I blame Everyday Minimalist for my computer like <laughs> crashing because he That's sold so it to me. <laughs> my computer That's crashed on stream. Computer. Stream sleep. Stream love. It. Yeah, right. That's pretty much what I do. Uh, shout out to Everyday Minimalist. Uh, I always shout out this guy's channel. He's just one of the best, one of the greats. And uh, good to call. Uh, it feels really good to call this guy friend. He's always coming through and hanging out with us. Um, let's check out some F5.5s, I guess, is what we'll do. I'll just search for, I think I did it already. So if you put F5.5 on Urban EDC, this is what you're going to be getting. I have this coin right now. Um, I've we've gotten to look at this one. These Lynch clips are always sold out. <clears throat> We've got to check out the Brian, Brown Micarta one. I've never seen this, the carbon fiber one. I've never seen that. Uh, uh, I've, oh, I've, do I have this coin? I think I have this one. Yeah, I definitely have that one. Um, let's see what else is cool here. They have replacement pocket clips. Ne this is a Damasteel one. Holy shit, how much is that? $4.99? That's not bad, yo. I thought it would be more for the damage deal. That's not too bad. Let's go to the. Oh my God, this one must be expensive. Damage steel and carbon fiber. How much is that? Oh, for, again, I thought it would be more. $4.99. Uh, there was one here that I really thought looked cool. It's not even on the website anymore. Um, it was this crazy. It wasn't this one. This is an L Max. Oh shit, that's dope. Mm -hmm. My girl's like, mm-hmm. It looks nice. I like it. <laughs> Look at the Instagram pics, guys. Tap the shit out of it in that fucking hairy arm. Uh you saw it on Instagram, dude. You would just tap the shit out of that. That's so crazy. It's funny. Oh, what is this? Oh, this has nothing to do with the. Oh, it has it has F five point fives in the fucking coin, like in the donut. Look. I was like, why? Damn, this is $175 <laughs> as F5.5 is in the donut. What is this? This is like a worry stone or something? Oh, it's it's decent size, I guess. It's like a quarter or some. Not bigger than a quarter, right? Yeah, I'd double tap it. Mm -hmm. i double tap it. Let's see what you guys are saying in the chat right here. Uh, I have the Black Micarta Bronze Sagaya Titanium and the Blackout should be here tomorrow. Damn, you collect them? That's awesome, dude. I had to sell my Blue Denim Micarta one because my wife told me I needed money. Wow. This is before I had, you know, the things going for me now. Um, <laughs> wow. I said, all right, I'm going to go back to sleep for a little bit. Have a good one, bro. Take care, man. Only bronze and antique bronze. That's still pretty good. You have two of them. Is there a brass Agaiha F5.5? Yes. Yes, there is. Uh, this one right here. This is a bronze one. <clears throat> $2.99. Uh, LMAX as well. God, look at this, dude. Can you imagine you see this on Instagram? 
He just double taps so hard. Right. Just I just licked the mic by accident. <laughs> he double taps so fucking hard, dude. Holy oh, shit. Man. Double tap that hairy arm, bro. God, whoever's taking their pictures is mad good too. Holy shit, man. But yeah, the star of the show for this week is the blacked out G10 at 5.5. And you guys can still get this right now. Is this going to sell out? 100% it is. So if you do want one, it is $239. There's a link in the description. If you do buy one, it definitely helps out the channel, of course. Um, let's keep it. Oh, it's not Sagaiha, though. True that. They, I, so I had the bronze Sagaiha pattern one at one point, but Matt loaned it to me from Urban EDC. It, I think they gave it to their employees um, for, you know, great work or something. Yeah. Black uh, F5.5 is absolute fire. I agree. I agree with you, bro. And I just messed up the flick on that. It's really sick. Definitely grab that. It's going to sell out, man, 100%. Definitely going to sell out. Um, You guys have been awesome. So does it come with a stonewashed blade or not? They showed a pic of a stonewashed all black F5.5. My cat is biting me like very hard. He's really upset about this. Don't yeah, he doesn't want me to hang out with my friends. Um, It's not stonewashed. I believe it's PVD coated. I believe it is. Um, Let's see. Yeah, I can't see that, but I know in the email when I looked it up, it said PVD coded. So let's just, uh, I'm going to double check on that right now. Hold on, I got to sign into my uh, thing here. Oh, no, it's fine. Oh. Okay, we're going to do this. We are going to do this right now. Uh, F5.5. Um, I see it here. No, not that one. This one. Yeah, it says blacked out edition featuring all new black G10 scales, a blackened M390 blade, and matching black hardware. Where did I see PVD coded? I guess I'm wrong. <laughs> that is not the first time it's happened. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what the thing is on it, but you will let me know. They didn't write anything new for it, I think, so I don't see anything. Um, <clears throat> you guys coming to SLC anytime soon? Salt Lake City? I mean, if I do, I'm hitting you up. Hitting you up. I Maybe Blade West 2023. If I do, I'm hitting, hitting you up, dude. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If I do, I'm hitting you up. You know, if I can make content, go wild, you know. Black micarta is F F5.5 is acid etched. And and Matt just all of a sudden Shows makes an appearance. With the <laughs> Fucking love you, Matt, dude. Always coming through, man. <laughs> Thank you so much for, for talking about that. That is great. We have Matt from Urban here who loaned me the uh, Sagaiha, bronze Sagaiha F5.5. We have to make it to... Uh, I've been in... <laughs> I didn't know you were That's here. So funny. <laughs> My cat is wilding out right now. Like, wow, we have Kelly on the uh, show today. That's yeah. crazy, right, guys? Well, I didn't come. What was it last week? You don't come on this show. I don't. I mean, I'm not normally here. I'm normally at work. So. So, what do you guys think? I guess the star of the show, I would say, is the uh, the F five point five here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the Damasteel one, uh, Picnicker, was pretty cool. I mean, look, look at this. You ha you get this Hank, right? You get this Hank here. Let's open this up again, right? You get this Hank, boy. You get this Hank, right? You go like that. And you go like this. And you put this on the Instagram, right? And then you get a double tap. You know what I'm saying? This will be the Instagram picture right here. It's just that we got to blur out the two people. <laughs> there you go, dude. That's the double tap right there. Yeah. That's the double tap on the IG. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in to the 31st episode of Good Morning EDC. Now, this Friday, um, I'm, I think Kaiser is doing the giveaway with me. So they're going to stream it with me live or I'm going to stream my 9K giveaway live anyway. So definitely 
come through to that because I'm giving away a Kaiser October. All right. I'm giving away a Kaiser October. I'm giving away a Kaiser mini roach. And I'm giving away, I just added this and I'm going to add a lot of swag too as well. I'm going to give you a Kaiser original. All right. So I'm going to be giving away a bunch of stuff and only one person is going to win. Definitely tune into that on Friday. And just much love to everybody. I hope you guys have a great day, man. We always start this Tuesday morning together. And uh, I hope this gives you guys energy to take on the tasks ahead, man. Absolutely love you guys. Just hit me up on the IG. Or if you want to hit me up on the Patreon, that is the best way to get a hold of us is on patreon.com slash everyday city carry. Those messages come through a lot easier because... Your boy gets a lot of comments and a lot of notifications and sometimes things get lost. And my my comment section is wild right now, bro. Like it's crazy. I it's so toxic in there. Um I love the uh great comments as well, which is a lot of the people in this chat leave those comments. I do see those and thank you so much guys for doing that. But definitely hit me up on the IG. This is your boy Ray and your girl Kelly and Robbie saying